Oh my god, my eyes are so red. <laughs> hey guys, hey friends, hey family. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing my full face of makeup using Tati Beauty's Blendiful. Um, I just got this in the mail. Hindi ko pa talaga siya inopen kasi I want to open it on camera for you. And ganito yung packaging niya, plastic lang. It says here Blendiful. And then when you flip it sa likod, and dito yung cleaning instructions niya. It says here pwede siyang i-machine wash, but you have to put it in the laundry bag. And pwede din naman hand wash in warm soapy water, rinse thoroughly, and blot dry. It says here do not bleach do not dry clean 100% polyester and poly uh, 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 polyurethane huh? no harsh lines xo stati i'm gonna open it now Ito si Blendiful, ito naman si Baby Blendiful. Hindi ako nang joke mga best kasi dito o oh, Baby Blendiful talaga yung nakalagay. Etong malaki, super duper soft and squishy. Ito naman medyo stiff siya ng konti, but it's still soft. It's just a little stiffer compared to the big one. Yung presyo pala nito, $18, pero hindi siya free shipping. So nagbayad pa ako ng $2 plus for shipping. I think I paid $22 or $23, ganun. Meron pala akong good news inyo guys. I have been using two products consistently yung nighttime routine lang ha hindi ko siya ginagamit ng morning and i don't know kung napapansin niyo pero nag-fade talaga yung freckles ko sobrang iitim ng freckles ko mga best hindi ko nga akalain na magagawa ng products na yun eh na ma-fade out yung freckles ko but i'm still trying them out alam niyo na pag skincare kailangan talaga ng i-try ng ilang months and then siguro mga march ko na siya ma-film sa inyo Pinanood ko ulit yung video ni Tati last night kasi I wanna educate myself kung paano gamitin itong product na to. Kasi to be honest, first time ko talagang gumamit ng ganito. Yung texture niya, parang yung sa mga stuff toy natin or yung carpet. But yung carpet, medyo harsh siya. Tumitingin ako sa carpet ko eh. Medyo matigas and harsh. But this one's very soft. So para siyang, yeah, yun nga. Yung sa mga stuff toy, ganun. Specific talaga sinabi ni Tati sa video niya na if you wanna use the Blendiful na pang apply ng primer, dapat yung mga pore filling primer. So, I'm gonna use this one today. It's the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. Yes, hydrating yung nakalagay dito, pero ito primer na to meron siyang silicone or dimethicone. And yun yung mga ingredients na nakaka-fill in ng pores natin. So, yung mga ganun na classing primer, hindi daw yung mga moisturizing primer or luminous primer. So, I'm gonna use this side. Ipipress ko lang siya sa skin. Lahat ng primer na meron ako dito, every time I apply it on my face, hindi ako gumagamit ng brush or sponge. Kinakamay ko lang talaga. Super favorite ko tong primer to. So, alam na alam ko na talaga kung ano yung mukha niya sa skin ko pag apply ko. And wala naman akong nakitang difference kung kamayin ko siya or itong puff na to. For foundation, this is what I'm gonna use today. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Dream Skin Foundation. Bago lang to sa akin, pero nagamit ko na siya tatlong beses off camera. This will give you light, buildable to medium coverage, pero hindi siya na po full coverage. Pero tingnan natin, baka kasi magiging high-medium yung coverage niya pag ito yung gagamitin ko. Hmm. So, I'll swipe and then do this motion. Kung swiping motion, nakikita ko yung streakiness. Like, it's very streaky. Pero pag i-blend ko na siya ng paganyan, um, it already looks flawless. We are learning together kasi first time ko din itong gagamitin ni, eh. So, hindi ko talaga alam kung paano siya gamitin pa. Sabi ni tati, pag dito sa corner ng ilong, pwede mo siyang ganyanin and then iganan mo lang. To be honest, I was watching other YouTubers' video on this and sobrang full coverage yung mga foundation nila pag-apply. Pero for some weird reason, mas madami yung nagamit ko na foundation just to reach yung high-medium coverage. I know what you're thinking, oh my god, sobrang itim ng under eyes mo and super itim talaga kasi matagal, matagal, late akong natulog kagabi kasi tinapos ko talaga yung mesaya kasi I could not wait na. So, tinapos ko na siya kagabi, nabitin tuloy ako, um, hindi akong spoiler, do not worry. So, kailangan ko ng orange corrector. This is from LA Girl. This is called the orange corrector. <laughs> Now for concealer, I'm gonna use this one from Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Concealer because I'm familiar with the concealer. Na to. 
Ito yung sa foundation ko kanina and corrector. So, I'm gonna use this side. Light medium yung ginamit ko kanina, guys. mag add lang ko ng konting light. Super nagustuhan ko siyang pang-blend ng concealer. Kasi sometimes, I'm not sure kung nangyari na rin to sa inyo, yung damp sponge, pag hindi nyo natanggalan ng water talaga when you squeeze it, like meron pang konting water na natira, sometimes nalilift yun yung concealer natin, ba? Pero ito, kasi nga dry siya, nabiblend yung maayos talaga. Wala akong nakikita ang product na nag-move or na-lift. Mamaya na ako mapapowder, uunahin ko muna yung liquid or cream. And today, I'm gonna use this one, yung Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. So, ito yung gagamitan ko for bronzer. I'm gonna use this part. Maganda naman siya mag-blend ng bronzer. Um, I'm very familiar with this bronzer already kasi super favorite ko to. Pero ang napansin ko guys, mas matagal. Mas natagalan talaga akong i-blend itong bronzer na to using Blendiful. Now to set my under eye concealer, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Ito yung side na gagamitin ko kasi malinis pa. And ganyan siya mag-pick up ng powder. Super ganda niya mag-apply ng powder. As you can tell, super flawless yung under eyes ko ngayon. And then for the whole face, ito yung gagamitan ko. This is from Glossier. This is called their Wowder. And yung shade na kinuha ko, GA to G10. So, magpipick up lang ako ng konti dito. And then I'll put it all over my face. And I'm gonna use this cream or liquid bronzer from, not bronzer, blush from Flower Beauty. This is called their Blush Balm. And you shade na to cinnamon. And I'm just gonna put it at the back of my hand. And then, of course, ilalagay ko siya sa mata ko. Joke. <laughs> sa cheeks ko. <laughs> Super okay naman talaga siya mag-blend ng products, guys. As you can tell, well-blended naman yung mga makeup na nilalagay ko sa face ko ngayon. Medyo naninibago lang ako kung paano siya gamitin. Like, yung paghawak ko sa kanya and everything. Parang kailangan mo pa talagang sanayin yung self mo. Especially kung nasanay ka sa sponge. Ako talaga super sanay ako sa sponge. Tapos medyo na-miss ko yung feeling na damp na sponge. Alam niyo na yung feeling na yun. Very therapeutic kasi medyo malamig siya sa face. Ganun. Tapos ito dry kasi. So parang na-miss ko yung feeling na yun. Ang weird ba? sa I'm I'm weird. Maybe yun nga sanay lang ako talaga sa Juno and Coco na sponge. Isasat lang natin yung bronzer. I'm going to use this one from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores bronzer in the shade Beach. Yeah. Medyo ma-warm tong bronzer na to, so okay lang din. Now to set my cream blush, I'm going to use this one from Burt's Bees. This is in the shade Bear Peach. Sabi ni Tati sa video niya, you can also use this pang slice, di ba? Para tss, ganun talaga yung mukha mo. Hindi na ako naglilinis ng bronzer eh. Yung parang ililinya talaga. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use this one from Ofra. This is in the shade Rodeo Drive. Babalik ta rin natin. And then I'll use this part right here. Wow, wait. <gasps> this highlighter from Ofra, guys, pag blush, not blush, pag brush yung gagamitin ko, it's very beaming, like in your face, if hindi ka careful. Pero ito, guys, for some reason, it looks really natural. I know it looks beaming on camera because of the lighting, pero in person, para siyang. Um, nag-sink in talaga siya sa skin ko. Babalikan ko kayo for my final thoughts. I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup off-camera para hindi tayo matagalan. Tinapos ko na yung makeup ko off-camera and I know you're gonna ask kung ano yung nasa lips ko ngayon. This is from Pixie. Um, yung shade niya, Posh Nude. While I was doing my makeup off-camera kanina, I was gathering my thoughts to kung ano yung sasabihin ko sa inyo. So do not worry, hindi to sobrang haba. Gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na kanina talaga I was looking at myself in the mirror as in magnifying mirror. Wala naman ako nakitang pa 
patchiness or an evenness. Maganda yung pagka-blend ng lahat ng products na nilapat ko sa mukha ko. Pero guys, yung nagagawa ng Blendiful na to, nagagawa din ng Juno and Co. sponge ko. Kasi diba, meron yung microfiber. Hey guys, today is day 2 sa pagtetest out dito sa Blendiful ni Tati. Um, nilabhan ko na siya. Hindi siya madaling mag-dry though. Kasi nilabhan ko siya ng mga 10 o'clock in the evening. And then, yung mga 6, 6.30 in the morning, medyo damp pa siya ng konti. So, sabi ni Tati, diba, pag nagmamadali ka, pwede mo namang i-blow dry. Yung ginagamit natin pang blow dry ng hair, ito-test out ko to ulit kasi titingnan ko talaga kung ano yung difference, kung sponge ba or ito. Kasi guys, nanood ako ng mga reviews na ibang YouTuber. Sobrang in love sila sa product na to. Merong ibang style and variant na to, guys, ha? Pero yung super favorite ko, yung velvet. Microfiber velvet sponge ng Juno and Co. Primer, wala akong nakikita ang difference, guys. As in, kahit anong tool yung gamitin ko, kamay ko, brush, yung uh, blendiful or yung sponge, pareho lang talaga after applying it. Foundation, ito yung napansin ko. And take note, guys, ha, this is not your regular sponge. This has microfibers. So, mas makapal siyang mag-deposit ng foundation sa mukha. Na-explain ko na yan sa inyo nung na-review ko tong microfiber na to. Kasi yung regular sponges natin, di ba, medyo nasusoak niya yung product or nasusheer out niya. Pero ito, napansin ko, compare dito kay Blendiful, mas madami siyang mag-deposit ng product sa face. Concealer, napansin ko, same lang yung nilagay ko dito sa right and sa left. Nag-add ako ng konti dito sa left kasi na-share out niya ng konti. Super konti lang naman talaga, guys. As in, minimal. When I say minimal, siguro mga 0.05%. Ganon. Kung hindi ko naman sasabihin sa inyo na dalawa yung tool na ginamit ko sa mukha ko, you won't be able to tell. Powder, I'm gonna give it to Blendiful. Mas gusto ko siya um, sa pag-apply ng powder sa face ko. Not only sa under eyes, but sa buong face ko. Mas maganda siya tingnan. I think it's because this is really meant for powder. Kasi nga, puff siya eh. Maganda siya for powder. I'm not saying that this is not good for powders. Pero napansin ko, mas maganda to. So if I use it again, I'm gonna use this for my powder. Liquid or cream bronzers, medyo pareho lang sila, pero mas nahirapan ako ng konti dito talaga kay Blendiful, to be honest. Mas mahirap siyang i-blend. Ito kasi medyo damp ng konti, so my movement, madaling mag-move yung product, ganun. Pero if you talk about seamless, as in seamless blending, mas seamless pa rin talaga mga best pag ito yung gamit ko, yung angled brush ko. Um, kasi if I use this, yung Juno and Co., I still go in with a powder bronzer. And then, igaganon ko siya, like, ibiblend ko kasama yung blush, ganon. Um, basta, mas seamless siya pag may brush. Powder, blush, mas bongga mag-deposit ng product talaga si Juno and Co. So, you have to be very, very careful. Pero, I don't know if you guys can tell, if malayo ako ng konti, mas makapal yung blush na to sa right side kay Juno and Co. compared dito kay Tati. Highlighter nung first video, di ba powder yung ginamit ko from Ofra. Mas maganda to for powder. Kasi kanina, nahirapan ako i-blend. Like, I really press it sa skin ko. Kasi ito yung ginamit ko, cream na highlighter. So again, mas okay to pag powder. For sure, I'll still be using Tati's Blendiful. And gagamitin ko siya for my powder. Especially yung pang under eye na powder. And yung panglagay ng powder sa buong face ko. So that is it guys. And back to the first video. I can also do my full face of makeup just by using that sponge. And alam nyo na, parati ko na sinasabi to sa inyo, as in paulit-ulit talaga, na I love doing my base, especially when I use my sponge. Kasi nga, damp siya. So when I put it on my face, malamig siya. So very therapeutic talaga para sa akin. So kanina, while I was blending my concealer, my foundation, medyo naninibago nga ako kasi hindi siya malamig. And itong product na to, kailangan mo siyang gamitin na dry, hindi damp. Will I use this again? Of course, gagamitin ko siya hanggang sa masira siya. Will I repurchase it? I'm not sure. Pero kung ngayon mo ako tatanungin, I'll say no. Pero baka masanay din ako and then baka maging part na to ng routine ko, then I'm gonna repurchase it. Pero balitaan ko na lang kayo. Pero for now, mga best, hindi talaga ito yung product na sasabihin ko sa inyo nga, oh my gosh, it's super life-changing. You have to order it now. As in, now na talaga. Hindi ganun yung excitement ko. Ito pala si Baby Blendiful. You can just put it in your bag. So, 
anytime gusto mag-retouch, ito daw yung gamitin mo pang retouch. Uh, medyo nga stiff siya compared to this one. Pero, I don't know. Hindi kasi ako nag-retouch, guys. Eh, hindi talaga ako nag-retouch. Whenever I go out of the house, hindi ako nagdadala ng makeup. Yung dinadala ko yung lip tint lang or kung ano yung lipstick na sinuot ko sa day na yun. That is it for my review, guys. I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye! Mm.